Thank you, Madam Chair, members of the board, Superintendent Davis. Pleased to bring you Board of Education informational item C1A, Community Conversations. Central to this board's core belief that community engagement is critical to student success, community conversations led by this Board of Education were recently conducted throughout our district, spanning several weeks and multiple stops. These cluster-specific gatherings hosted at each of our district's 10 high schools were aimed at accomplishing four specific objectives. The first was to reconnect and re-engage with families and to re-inspire the kind of community engagement and connection that this Board of Education has committed to. The second was to share the current standing of our district, informed mostly by the academic performance of our students when compared to pre-pandemic numbers, especially in light of previously held national headlines. The third was to solicit feedback relative to the progress currently being made on our five-year community-inspired strategic plan. And the fourth was to evaluate the community's perception on our progress on work objectives that have emerged over the past year, including safety and security and efforts to respond to student wellness needs. But the true purpose of these community conversations was to allow parents and stakeholders to share their thoughts about matters of importance to them. Over the course of three months, we received over 2,000 individual points of feedback from over 500 participants. And we listened, we learned, and our commitment is to consistently return to the information that we've gathered. We are currently organizing this data and evaluating the most appropriate course corrections that may be necessary to move our district forward. Strategies that will be specifically informed by the perspective, interest, and feedback of our community. Or your strategic plan calls for the strengthening of vertical coordination and communication in our clusters. So this new approach to engagement also provided a chance for cluster principals to highlight their collective good works and achievements. Most notably, every cluster reported significant academic gains in certain areas. For example, in math, particularly in Algebra 1, stakeholders were briefed on the district's remarkable 8.1% increase coming out of the pandemic, as well as our reading performance, marked by 46 of 52 schools showing growth over pre-pandemic numbers. There were other indicators of work that this board has set the conditions for achieving as well. I'd emphasize that much of the feedback received from families following the presentation of this data was met with surprise, as much of our reporting challenged the national narrative about student performance and learning loss and unrecoverable learning opportunities resulting from the pandemic. While there are gaps that still need to be addressed, we are much better positioned going forward than what has been reported about the current state of most schools and school districts across this country. This is a direct reflection of our board's commitment to honoring this strategic plan, which by extension honors the wishes of our community. But as we prepare to take steps forward, this board recognizes and heartily believes that everything begins with community. In fact, this board has actually set the conditions for the kind of engagement that you see here, where all voices come together to help inform the direction of our district. This is what we mean when we say community inspired. And as you'll note, nothing has escaped us. Every remark from every community conversation participant is important and will be given due consideration as we remain in a cycle of internal evaluation based on community feedback. Our team has already begun the process of categorizing the data and assessing emerging themes. And so far we've learned a lot. In terms of academic planning, we've learned that our community desires more strategic and early support to help students discern between the many academic pathways and options available to them. For school to home connection, we've learned that although tools like Henry Connect's Family View has been created to bridge the gap between the classroom and the kitchen table, more work may be necessary in that regard. We've also learned that our parents have passion for pushing even more aggressively around elevating advanced course options for students, particularly around STEM. And of course, there are several more. This board has been provided every remark, suggestion, and concern that was submitted during each community conversation. And the timing of these community conversations and the data that we've retrieved will be even more helpful as the budget development process for the upcoming school year begins to unfold. 
As I close this report, this board thanks our community for sharing as these engagement efforts have been reflective of the board's clear beliefs and interests around accountability and feedback. We are fortunate to have a board that is willing to engage, availing yourselves to discuss with our community their individual experiences and to simply build stronger bonds and connections that reflect a through line from the community to the boardroom and extending directly